Peggy 16. By now, you're the proud owner of a custom-built, nanotechnology-enhanced battlesuit that lets you wreak havoc across the multiplayer arena. And I know what you're thinking. Accessorize. Well, Crisis 2 Multiplayer lets you add that personal touch to your kills with a massive variety of weapon upgrades and options. Rack up enough points in-game and then spend them on an ever-expanding range of weapons and weapon modes. You can modify all the usual things like your rate of fire, the weapon type, and loadout. Or you can add a variety of accessories. Scopes help you get close in on the kill. And laser targeting adds a level of precision to your encounters. Just point the red dot and the rest is easy. There's also a range of suppressors for the silent killers amongst you. And for those with more exotic tastes, there are a range of non-standard upgrades that can really change the course of an encounter. From electrostatic weapons like the cable and the gauze gun, to heavier anti-personnel devices like the X-43 mic. That's a hologram decoy. And you can use it to tempt your enemies out into the open. And then shoot them in the back. Is that fair? Who cares? Around the levels, you'll also find some mounted weapons that can be dismounted when necessary. There are also plenty of possible weapon modifications. And beyond that, let's say there are some interesting ways for the expert player to add an even more personal touch to their weapons. But the only way to find out about that is in the game itself.